How's it going, everyone? Akibana Zero here, and I'm back with another Ruby reaction. We're gonna check out Chapter 7 of Volume 3, The Beginning of the End. Wow. I mean, I was just completely thrown for a, for a loop in the previous episode, and now I am... I have no idea what to expect of this. I'm really, really confused. So, everybody's saying, you know, hold on to your hat and everything. Well, I, I'm, I'm apparently saying that and translating it that way, but you guys have basically all given me a different version of holding on to my hat over here. So, yeah, really excited to see what's going on because apparently they are, like, that's the whole thing with Yang and Mercury played off one way, but everybody saw it a different way because of somebody's power. So let's find out what's going on in the beginning of the end. I want to be strong. A beautiful ring for a beautiful woman. I'm sorry. I want to be feared. What? Impossible. What did it? What? I want. To be powerful. Someone Don't we all? How did she do that? <sighs> How did you do that? Do what? Don't. Unless, of course, you want them to hear you. What do you want? I've already told you. And I don't like repeating myself. I didn't do anything. Just leave me alone. I know my fair share of liars and thieves. Stealing is an art of patience, coordination, and in a pinch, sleight of hand. But you didn't steal that ring in your pocket. You took it right before the jeweler's eyes. And he smiled. Who are you? It's Emerald's power, right? She's the one who can, like, well, manipulate what people see. Know. This is impossible. I wish to take on an apprentice. He lives in the mountains with his son. Follow me, and you'll never be hungry again. Thank you. What are you looking at? What happened to him? I'm looking for Marcus Black. There you go. Oh. That's the assassin? And you're his son. We saw your fight from the tree line. He's taught you well. Guess so. What's your name? Mercury. Mercury. Tell me, are you anything like your father? So what's in it for me? We don't need him. Everything was going fine. Ugh. Do not mistake your place. <laughs> My dad always said, if you need to know a city, ask the rats. Well, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> so... Let me get this straight. You could have gone to anyone for help. You could have made a deal with a gang leader, paid off some huntsman that had strayed from their righteous path. But instead, you choose to seek an audience with me. You're the one we need. Your skill, your ability to lead those beneath you. You're an exceptionally valuable man, Adam. And we have put a lot of thought into... Then you're clearly not thinking straight. If you truly understood me, then you would know that coming here was a mistake. The White Fang is not an organization for hire. We are a force of revolution. Okay. I believe our plan will be beneficial for all parties involved. I have an associate in Vale. He and I are working on a revolution of our own. But we can't do it without your forces. We need... What you need is to leave. You're asking my men to die for your cause. A human cause. That is not an idea I am willing to entertain. Very well.
being overly courteous. What's with all those weapons on her back, anyway? What was that about? Nothing. Uh -huh. We need to finish preparing. The train will be here at dawn. So it's not the first time so that now, Blake and Cinder there's another task we have been in the finish. same place. Remember the plan. Exactly as discussed. Not a foot out of place. Hmm. Nice shots here. Pretty cool how they've like, you know, up to the detail on the environments. Yeah, the road could use a little bit of work, I guess. Who is this? Amber. Ah. Oh. It's the Fall Maiden. <laughs> oh, that is low. That is so low. Using the image of a child. Her semblance, I assume, the shield. Whoa, his legs are not real. Going Super Saiyan here. Kind of futile. She's too strong. Whoa. Wow. That's a really cool weapon. Oh, frick. There goes her aura. That is cold. 
That, that is cold. What is that? Eww. Please. Grim. been severed the connection before it was complete yes it's an emptiness it burns like hunger I like it yeah I like yes. it I will claim what is ours Thank who you. is she talking to we'll find her sir I swear on my life forget it it's time I return to Mistral and Hmm. What is this? Oh, for God's sakes. We could have gone to anyone for help, but we chose you, Adam Taurus. Our plan will be beneficial for both of us. Or one of us. Money and dust. She did go for the overkill a bit there by using her shotgun. She could have just deflected or punched him straight up. Please, somebody help him. But of course she is a little Can reckless. We need to get this boy to a hospital. Grab a blanket. Oh boo hoo, poor you. The robot legs. You don't understand. He attacked me, I swear. Stow it! You've already caused enough of a scene. You already caused enough of a scene. Here, we've got an ambulance ready to go. <sighs> Hope they'll be okay. That girl won't leave his side. We'll take good care of both of them. <laughs> She's creepy, man. <laughs> oh, Doc, tell me. Will I ever walk again? Ow! <laughs> What's your deal? What a uh, douche. Headache. One mind I can handle, but two is a stretch. Well, you all performed marvelously. Driver included. One mind I can handle, but two is a stretch. She takes over minds? ...took place this afternoon during the one-on-one -on -one rounds of the Vital Festival Tournament. I don't know if Beacon's headmaster is teaching his students, but that was disgraceful. Completely uncalled for. Despite Atlas reinforcements, local authorities are still calling on any available huntsmen to aid in suppressing the spike in grim activity. Hey, I was watching that. Shut up. Is this how you treat a patient? Ow, too tight. Enough. Owl Mercury put on a wonderful show. He was quite brave. These things aren't exactly cheap, you know. So what's next? You and I will ensure that our next matchup goes just as smoothly. <laughs> what about me? You get to lay low until the end. We wouldn't want people to see you on your feet and have this all be for naught now, would we? Can do. Wow. 
Wow, lot, lot, lots of expose here. Wow. So we got to see how they got together, Cinder, Mercury, and Emerald, which, yeah, and how they're after now the powers of the, the maidens, I assume. So I'm pretty sure she's just, like, really ambitious. I'm pretty sure she's after all of the powers of the maidens. I'm definitely sure of that. And, uh, yeah, I think we got we got to understand now that it's Emerald that is doing all of that uh changing of what you see and all that because she said she can she can control the mind so i'm assuming that she goes into your mind and controls what you see and she has a bit of a limit to one well she can do two but that kind of that's kind of a stretch okay okay right so this is uh it's definitely taking a dark turn here i'm not gonna lie i mean um i'm I'm getting some very very creepy vibes here too much cinder for my liking as well so yeah Let's see what happens. Anyway, if you enjoyed the reaction, please leave the video a like and subscribe to my channel because it helps a lot. And I'd like to thank my enthusiastic Owen Dunn and the rest of my patrons for supporting me. And if you want to be a patron as well, you can go to patreon.com slash Akibana Zero and join over there. Also, we'll be doing a lot of discussions on anime and games and the dankest of memes on my Discord channel, which you can find in the description below. And I will catch you next time.